Hi, my name is Felipe Schwery and I'm a language teacher at the Faculty of Modern and Medieval Languages and Linguistics, um, University of Cambridge. This is a sample lecture I called Did Eve Actually See the Grape? And it's a translation challenge that I prepared for you. So um, Portuguese is, is offered at the uh, MML faculty as a posting level and an ab initio course. So, but the, the vast majority of our students, as you can imagine, since Portuguese is rarely offered in secondary schools in the UK, so the vast majority of our students are ab initio students, which means they learn Portuguese from scratch. They are completely beginners. And I've been doing um, outreach events and um, it's quite common to uh, hear someone asking me, well, but in a, in a completely beginner's course in, uh, at higher ed, in higher education, um, do we learn the alphabet? Do we learn pronunciation, uh, greetings? Do we learn um, how to introduce ourselves, uh, numbers, months and days of the week, uh, colors? And the answer is yes. So, um, we do start from the very basic uh, with our completely beginners students. So, uh, but I, I could have chosen some of these uh, to give you the taste of um, speaking uh, uh, some words in Portuguese in this lecture, but I brought for you a translation challenge. So, um, you are going to translate a sentence from, from Portuguese into English, um, you are going to translate it five times and they all need to be different. Yes, even if you have never learned Portuguese before, that challenge is for you. So, this is the sentence we are going to translate. Ever viu a uva? Okay? Ever viu a uva. So, Eva is a female given name and Eva is not an uncommon name, right? So, you probably know uh, Eva Longoria or Eva Mendes, Eva uh, Peron, Eva Peron, uh, Eva Gabo, um, Eva Jolie. Um, viu is a verb. Uh, it's the verb ver in its past simple form. Uh, a is a definite article. And uva is a noun, is a fruit. is a fruit that can be used for making wine and jam. Okay, so uh, this is the first part of our challenge. Um, you can use a machine translation service. I select three. And the first one, ever viu a uva? Ever saw the grape? The second one, ever viu a uva? Ever saw the grape? And the last one, ever saw the grape? So, uh, ever viu a uva is a direct uh, equivalent of ever saw the grape. But that's uh, the, 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 focus, the focus there, and it's in the meaning, right? So, the meaning is exactly the same. Um, but the, but it's a literal translation. It's a direct translation. It's word for word. And there's no attempt at all to convey its style. And if you have a look at the sentence again, you're going to see um, how simple it is. You're going to see some uh, linguistic features that um, we simply didn't uh, uh, reproduce in our translation. So how about the form. Okay, have a look again. Ever view a uva? They are all short words, uh, monosyllables, like a, words with one syllable, or dissyllables, like u, va, two syllables. Um, have a look at the stress. Ever view a uva? Yeah, it's almost like the, the two, four, um, time signature in music, right? Eva, viu, uva, ta, 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 
that's all the stress is always in the first uh, syllable um, which give us the rhythm of the sentence uh, there is only one single consonant v which is v, v in portuguese um, and this repetition of v gives uh, us the, the alliteration so the repetition of the sound of the consonant ever view a v v v um, and there's the rhyme the first and the last words ending with va um, and there are no consonant clusters yeah so the group uh, of, of consonants uh, together with no vowel between them ever view of is quite a, 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 a remarkable work of, of uh, with different uh, linguistic features isn't it and um, so let's now focus on the form that's our second attempt to translate ever view over and now um, I want you to come up with a sentence with as much as possible the same characteristics of ever view over short words rhythm alliteration rhyme so be creative and I uh, brought him uh, here two examples um, of sentences uh, written by uh, students um, uh, to whom I, I gave this session before. The first one is Anna saw the banana. You can see the, the, the rhyme there, Anna banana. Um, banana is quite a long word. So is there as an alien, isn't it? Uh, it it's not actually working uh, so uh, balanced as ever view a over. And the second one is Claire peel the pear. I like this one, the, the peel the pear, the p the alliteration you have the the rhyme clair pair uh, but at the same time you have the the consonant clusters there the cl cl clair and peeled this t is not so easy to to pronounce uh, two different ways to 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 write the same sound like clair and pair which is difficult as well so let's try to be more uh let's try to be simpler simpler and let's try to uh convey the, the characteristics of ever view over um, in other way okay so now it's up to you I'll give you five minutes pause the video and um, come back with your version of ever view over focused on the form I have here a compilation of students answers I have three I think uh, the first one is Harry hit the cherry um, there's the attempt of, of the, the, the alliteration there, but the ch, ch is, is not actually an alliteration. The H is there, but the sound is not. Eve saw the sleeve. I have again the sleeve. It's not so simple. And Sam saw the sun. I like this one, but you can see that the meaning is, is we are leaving the meaning behind, right? Sam saw the sun. I have uh, small short words. I have the, the alliteration. S -s -s. I have um, a, a rhyme. Uh, so, but how about the context? How about the context? Um, I didn't talk about uh, where ever view over was written. Which text is this? So, our third attempt to translate to translate ever view over, we are going to focus on the context. Uh, Ever viu a uva is a very famous uh, uh, sentence in Brazil and it's famous for being one of several decontextualized uh, sentences used in traditional literacy textbooks in Brazil. Um, there are other two examples here, o boi baba, the bow drew, and the second one, a ave voa, which means the bird flies. So you can see that the focus is, is on repeating words with the same consonant in, in decontextualized sentences to reinforce the consonant sound for children to remember that and to practice uh, their first syllables. Um, so let, let's imagine a, conte a context like this one. In a conference on literacy, a participant says, I don't think children's reading books uh, should all be ever view a over kind of stuff. Okay, so he's saying, well, 
this sounds a bit old fashioned. Uh, uh, I don't think we, we need to, to use decontextualized uh, sentences like this. So how would you translate this one here? Uh, I don't think children's reading books should all be ever view a over kind of stuff. So ever saw the grape wouldn't work here, right? Um, how about um, Claire peeled a pear or Sam saw the sun? What do you think? How would you translate it into English? I will give you um, five minutes again um, for you to think about a sentence in English that you think you have d d the form, yeah, so the, the, or the, 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 those linguistic features that we've seen in ever view a uva, alliteration, short words, rhyme, rhythm, and no consonant clusters. Uh, and it is a sentence that you know is used um, in this context uh, for, for in literacy uh, textbooks. Okay, so pause the video, five minutes for you to find um, your sentence. So, I don't think children's um, reading books should all be ever view a over kind of stuff. So, was your answer the cat sat on the mat? So, you can see the rhyme, you can see the rhythm. They are all short words, there are no consonant clusters. Uh, and uh, the cat sat on the mat does not mean ever view a over but it does occupy the same place in English discourse and makes use of the same linguistic features, right? Um, so I don't think children's reading books should all be the cat sat on the mat kind of stuff. It makes sense, isn't it? So if you think about the different levels of language properties that we've been uh, analyzing here, meaning, form and context, uh, if you put it on a scale, uh, you have context and form heavier than meaning. So the meaning, if you compare Everview over and the cat sat on the mat, uh, they have nothing to do with each other, but the context and the form make it uh, the equivalent in this context. And of course, there are other several um, different uh, language properties level, like um, uh, phonology and syntax. But now, in here, for our exercise, we are going to consider only meaning, form and context. The translator needs to, to choose which level is most uh, important in a particular context. And in this context, for us, um, we consider considered form and context our uh, most important level. This reminds me of Paulo Freire, a very influential Brazilian uh, philosopher and, and educator. Um, Freire worked uh, with adult literacy and he developed uh, an approach to education that triggers critical thinking, where students engage in, in, in something meaningful to them and linked to their reality. Uh, Pedagogy of the Oppressed, published in 1968, is Freire's most important uh, and famous book. And he argues that the learner should not be a passive actor to be filled with knowledge. So both teachers and students uh, have something important to, to contribute. And a dialogue is central to the pedagogical process. Have a look at this sentence by, by Freire. He's saying that... Um, um, he said, in most reading programs, the students must endure an uh, a abysm uh, between their own experience and the contents offered for them to learn. It requires patience, indeed, after the hardships of a day's work or of a day without work, uh, to tolerate lessons, talking of evers and uvas to men who never knew a ever and never ate a uva, ever 
viu a uva. So he's saying that this sentence, Eva viu a uva, is completely decontextualized and do not encourage uh, students to think. It's only a memory uh, exercise, right? So let's think about the other uh, translations that we've uh, done today. Um, if I change this to, if I use the cat sat on the mat, talking of cats and mats to men who never knew a cat, never ate a mat, of course, there's no, no, no sense there. And uh, that's because the meaning here is important. Right, so how would you translate uh, Eva viu a uva in this context? This is our fourth uh, exercise today. How would you translate Eva viu a uva in this context? To tolerate lessons talking of Evas and uvas to men who never knew a Eva and never ate a uva. Eva viu a uva. I'm giving you five minutes for you to think about it and to create your version of this uh, uh, ever view a uva example here. So uh, this is the published uh, sentence. So this book was published in, in English and to tolerate lessons talking of graces and grapes to men who never knew a grace and never ate a grape, grace saw the grape. So you can see that um, if you consider again the, those three uh, different levels of language properties, now the context and the meaning are more important than the form. I, I, I didn't use the cat sat on the mat because the meaning here was important. It was important to have a person there uh, in, in new a person, right? And never ate a fruit to keep its meaning. So, um, yes. In an initial course at the university, you are going to learn all these things. The alphabet, creating scholars, etc., etc. But you will be invited uh, to think about different greetings. The way people from different backgrounds uh, greet each other. The different greetings in different regions of uh, the same country. You will be invited to think about pronunci pronunciation, different varieties of the same language, and how history changed the way we speak. You will be invited to think about different meanings a, a color can have in different cultures. Blue, for example, in English, and its equivalent in Portuguese, azul, uh, in Brazil, can have opposite meanings. Why are some Brazilian football players um, refused to use the number 24 on their shirts and how this is linked to discrimination. So, uh, yes, you are going to learn a language. Uh, you will know new books, uh, films, art, plays, and these will lead you to understand history, to discuss power, national identities, gender, authority and violence, forms of otherness, love. You will be invited to explore and develop cultural awareness. So learning uh, how to read Eva viu a uva is not enough. We need to understand Eva in her social context. Find out who works to produce the uva and who profits from it. Paulo Freire again, and this is our fifth and last exercise. Learning how to read Eva Viva Uva is not enough. We need to understand Eva in her social context, find out who works to produce the uva and who profits from it. So do you remember all our uh, attempts Ever saw the grape was the literal one. Um, and then Claire peeled the pear, Sam saw the sun, the second one. The third one, the cat sat on the mat. The fourth one, Grace saw the grape. How about this one? Um, have you ever considered keeping it uh, in Portuguese and writing a, a, a translator footnote? Can you translate this one differently from all the others. Pause 
in five minutes for you to try. Learning how to speak a foreign language is not enough. A computer can be programmed to translate ever viva uva into ever saw the grape. But a linguist, a translator, needs to decode several interconnected levels of language properties to understand a sentence and find equivalents in different languages. It needs to involve critical thinking. So, did Eva actually see the grape? Don't simply repeat after me. Eva viu a uva. Uh, if you enjoyed, enjoyed this session, uh, Google Paulo Freire and his book Pedagogy of the Oppressed. Uh, watch films in different languages. Uh, listen to artists from different countries. Read a novel originally written in, for, in a foreign language. Uh, read the international section of your favorite newspaper. Uh, but always remember that you need to go beyond merely doing it. Eva viu a uva is not enough. Thank you very much. For further information about our courses, please visit the MMLL faculty website. Até logo. Espero vê-los algum dia. Muito obrigado.